everybody and welcome to Vlogmas! Vlogmas 2020, the first ever Vlogmas that I have done. So I'm going to try my best with it and try and get as much content in as I possibly can. Um, I'm going to do weekly vlog Vlogmases, so instead of doing daily, I'm going to do weekly because I'm allowed to start back to work tomorrow, woohoo, from the second lockdown and I have a really, really busy diary. So I won't be able to do it daily, but what I can do is do little snippets of every day and merge them into a weekly vlog. So there will be four videos to block me. So week one, week two, week three, week four, and I hope I can pull it off for you. I hope I can do it, do it really well, especially being like with the restrictions in place. Obviously we can't do as many Christmassy things as we normally do, but I'm gonna try and take you along with all the Christmas things that I do manage to do. So. Yes, first time doing Vlogmas and I can't wait to share it with you all. Uh, I'm excited, I don't know what to expect but I'm going to try and keep up with it as well I have, a, I have a really busy job so trying to keep up with it as well. It's going to be a task but I'm going to do it. I'm prepared, I'm going to be doing it. And obviously at the end of Vlogmas, maybe going to Walt Disney World on the 15th of January, might be able to get there, I'm not sure but we'll see. So it'll be a race to pack for that and things as well. Um, and I need to get esters and things for that as well. So maybe that could be thrown into the vlog Xmas vlog. Xmas vlog? Vlogmas. Maybe that'll be thrown into Vlogmas. But today I need to call to work to get things set up, ready for the opening tomorrow. So I'll take you along with me there because I'm going to put my little Christmas tree up there and all my little ornaments that I got from the garden centres. Um, so yeah, happy Vlogmas. I feel like I'm saying Vlogmas too much. Come along with me. Happy Vlogmas. Happy Vlogmas week bloody one. So I know you'll already have seen bits of my tree on my come decorate with me, but I thought I'd show you my tree, show you my summer decorations downstairs and show you my little hanging decorations that I've got on it. So if you didn't know, we do live with Martin's dad. So we're limited on what we can do until we get his own place and get his own house. So I have got this little corner where I keep my pink tree. So I'll show you some of the decorations on it because oh, they're adorable. They make me heart warm. And I want to bloody cry when I look at some of them because they're too cute for me to handle. It's so fluffy, I'm going to die. <laughs> so, I'll show you some of my tree and some of the things that I've collected over the years. But when I've got my own house, it'll be an absolute pink fucking wonderland. So, this is my tree. It's all the pink skirt around the bottom. And of course, it's got mini ears on the top. Picture of a horse up there, but cut the horse out. <laughs> it's a cute tree. So... Also, on the fireplace as well, have the alien popcorn bucket. I got this on Florida and I was so chuffed to bloody bits when I got this because I wanted him for so long. He was pricey and he comes out at Christmas, but he sits on the fireplace. So, along the bottom, we've got this lovely little thing, Tallulah, I call her. And I got her from Dunelm and she goes short. And she goes tall. I don't think I can get her back up now. That's it. She goes tall. Like a nice little polar bear from b and I've put a bow around its neck to make it cute. That Christmas tree, I found it in the garage. That little nutcracker was navy blue. I've took all the bits off and painted it, so it's to my liking. So if its face looks a bit weird, it's because I've painted it. That's why. Um, obviously, you know my pumpkin obsession, so I've left two little pumpkins out because they're pink. This little gonk, that little gonk there that somebody got me as a gift. That pink one at the back is from TK Maxx because it's like a doorstop. And I got these two the other day from Brig Garden Centre. So that one's a really, really big one. As you can see, Hood's massive. And this tiny one, couldn't get the little sister. Could not get the little sister. Couldn't leave there on the shelf. And then obviously the tree uh, decorations that I've collected over the years. Um, like people gifting me and all sorts so like because I work with customers they give me presents so one of my customers got me that one year and that's when my pink obsession started for the Christmas tree love that we've got Olaf hanging in there another pink nutcracker so they were from B&M and they're coming a pack of three three pink nutcrackers that little fairy got that from TK Maxx last year Take Me to Neverland, Peter Pan Bulble from Primark, uh, a little, little, I don't know what they're called, got them from Di Shop Disney, like got in a pack of three, like got Belle, Mrs Potts, Beast, that's Chip, 
Got this one from Quid Shop last year. So it's a pink princess pig. Lovely little swan. All these like decorations got from like home bargains. That one, look at that. It's a carousel horse. It reminds me of it. Magic Kingdom so much. This one is from the range. That's cute. That's one of the first ones that I bought this year. Uh, another princess pig. I think that was from Pound Shop as well. Angelina Ballerina. She's from range. Glittery heart. That's my most favourite Christmas decoration ever. I got that from TK Maxx. Now these are normally really expensive on the internet. You know the felt decorations. But that were cheap at TK Maxx. I'm so sad it's been closed this year. Like in the warm Christmas. Another fairy, a porn star martini glass, because that's what I'm all about. Martin Snooky Q in the back, ruining my pitch. Chip, a big mini, gingerbread man, gingerbread girl. My wand from Cinderella's Royal Table. I always stick that in there every year because I absolutely love that. One of my favourite restaurants on property. We've got Belle, Mrs. Potts. <gasps> Gotta go. Sorry for that blooper there. Um... The man who'd fixed my car had just dropped my car back off because somebody reversed into my car and it needed to get fixed. So it's been getting fixed while I've been off work. So I'll take you back to the tree. <laughs> so where were I? You'd seen Gingerbread Woman, Mrs. Potts, Belle, that is cute as fuck. Ballerina slippers, another Tinkerbell um, bauble from Primark, a gold moose from Poundland. Now that one's really heavy. I said that posh and then a really heavy uh, an angel and of course in all the glory the mini mouse ears yes so that's my little performance of a tree <laughs> yay <laughs> Woo! So, like i said i've got to still put my little tree up at work so i'll take you along when i decorate that later and um, show you how i put that up because i've got my car back now so i can go to the salon and get things set up so yeah <laughs> there you go i work in a salon um so obviously you know the restrictions have been tight because we couldn't work on public um yeah when i said about my posh voice like people that know me like my auntie she keeps saying like just be you just be you and i don't know what it is but every now and again my telephone voice comes out <laughs> hi hey you okay hon the tele telephone voice comes out and I need to just get my common voice out, but I'm not consciously doing it. I'm doing it without thinking, like it just comes out of nowhere. So I can't help it. It just comes out of nowhere. But yes, we're gonna go to the salon today. We're gonna decorate my room. We've already decorated the salon up. Um, so we need to decorate my little room up that I've got. And like I said, it might be a mad rush for us to go to Florida as well at the end of the month because 15th of January due to be going. I got an email last night from my place that I booked here. And I just seen it and my heart sank thinking, oh, it has been cancelled. But it wasn't. It was a change of terminal. It's changed from like terminal two to terminal one, uh, which had got my hopes up because I was thinking like, if they were going to cancel it, why would they be changing terminals? And then I seen like a little post of like the, the situation about masks in Florida as well at the minute, like, out in general Florida they're not making you wear them so I don't know if it looks hopeful that I'm going to go or not I know obviously with the current situations if I do get to go we'll be safe as possible hand sanitizers face masks um I'm not really bothered that some of the shows are closed it'd just be really nice to go there and experience it in a different time but I'm blabbing on too much about that. Um, come along with the rest of the day, day with me. I know I need to charge my camera because it's going to die soon. So I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> salon like i only recorded me putting that time lapse and putting that tree up because i got stressed to death then because martin come and martin were with me like how long is it bloody tech eh. so we went in like emptied my car because i wanted to get it cleaned and got to car wash and it was closed so we had to empty all rubbish out of it and then took it to you know one of those jet wash things at garage where you put two pound in and you do it yourself looks like a brand new car 
happy days but after that we nipped into home bargains and b&m of course why why not why the heck not uh, just to see if we could pick up some things for martin's christmas presents but obviously you know you know when you're walking in b&m and home bargains they tell you what you need so things just have to fall in your basket and you can't leave them there because you come home and you sit there and you think all day like i should have picked that up why didn't i pick that up that's just what home bargains and b&m does to you <laughs> so i'll show you what i picked up um happy vlogmas keep saying vlogmas all the time but face masks got some face masks from home bargains um just because starting back at work tomorrow and i need masks and these pink ones are the most comfiest face masks ever they don't feel too restrict obviously they cover and they're tight around your face but they don't feel too restrictive and they're nice around the ears they don't hurt the ears so i got one in grey to match my uniform and two pink ones because i love the pink one it's my favorite one it's comfortable and don't feel claustrophobic claustrophobic darren i'm claustrophobic darren don't feel claustrophobic in them so they used to be three for a fiver and now they're three for three pound bargain it's going straight in my basket this oh my god a gingerbread reed diffuser pop that on the landing and every time i walk upstairs i feel like i walked into mrs claus's cookie factory oh 1.99 that jumped straight in my basket i didn't even have to pick it up off the shelf it said Hi Em, I'm coming home with you. Bing. <laughs> yes, can't wait for house to smell like Mrs. Claus's cookie factory. One ninety nine. And then if you watched my home bargains Christmas stocking filler thing, you'll know that I got that little reindeer warmy thing, what you put in the microwave. Um well I had to get Air Big Brother, which is the hot water bottle version because I loved it so much, it's so bloody cute. And my excuse to Martin is Martin, it's fine, it's not gonna cut it out because when it comes to January, they can go in garage with all Christmas decorations. Staying out. So he were a bit of a splurge at 5 99 but how could I not pick him up? Look at let me get his little sister. Let me get it. I've gone Rudolph mad this year. So that's the warmy one with the like lavender packing that you put in the microwave. And that's a hot water bottle. I know it might seem excessive, but I wanted to is lucky that i didn't get the whole pack you know what i mean like is it seven reindeers how many reindeers does santa have seven is it seven prancer dasher dancer vixen cupid comet rudolph have i missed any out if i have comment below let me know what that missing reindeer is or have i got them all let me know quiz time <laughs> but yeah i've got the baby one now and i've got the big brother so can't wait to be all warm and snuggly in bed with that. That's the reindeer bucket I were on about. I got that the other day. But that matches it. So I could put my reindeers in there and have a reindeer in good time. Yeah. And then I got a make your own gingerbread house. Nice for like £4.25. And I know it's not already assembled, so we'll have fun with that. But I thought on my next day off, I could try and attempt to put that together and come and have a laugh with me because I won't get it right. I'll try and put it together and it'll slide pissing everywhere. I know B&M have got the pre-made ones, but they're like £9 as well. So I feel like if I've only spent £4, if it goes wrong, I can just eat it as mush and broken up. So yeah, we'll have fun with that at the weekend. Eat your own gingerbread house. Also, I'm the only one in the house that likes gingerbread, so gingerbread house me hun and then this one is pick this up because obviously vanilla marshmallow fabulosa yes please i think these are like 89p 99p whatever but when we come back in we've got like um a bag full of pop as well from there because pop from home bargains is so bloody cheap and it smelled like oh my god something smells amazing and then as i got to the bottom of the bag i thought something's wet in here that's leaked so if you buy one be careful because it leaks so i've just had a can of fanta lemon downstairs and as i was drinking it, it smelled like bloody frosted vanilla no not it smelled like vanilla marshmallow while i was drinking it it were amazing so <laughs> at least top of my can were clean because obviously it had this all over it so i know it was disinfected but yeah toasted marshmallow i've got a gingerbread one somewhere as well but i'm not sure where i've put it but my house is going to be smelling like the North Pole. 
Right, so that, all, that everything that I got from Home Bargains though went into B&M afterwards because Martin wanted those you know, wicker basket hamper things and didn't have any in Home Bargains so we had to go to B&M to see through in there but it turns out they're too expensive so we're going to leave it for a little bit and maybe get somewhere else to put it in because the baskets were too expensive. Um, but the first thing I got were these Dime Dairy Milk Little Robins. I think they were 89p just because they look so bloody cute. I had to pick them up. So they fell in my basket. Also, if you watched, I don't know if you, I did put it on my Instagram, but I did like a galaxy packet and it had Halloween things in it from Galaxy. It had like Halloween toppings, marshmallows, hot chocolate, and they were a pound. Um, but now they've got like the Christmas version of it. So you don't get like Christmas sprinkles in this one, you just get the hot chocolate and marshmallows. But if I remember rightly, you get two packets of Galaxy and hot chocolate in there. So they're good value because they're a quid a squid so yeah got that but it's hot chocolate season if you didn't know and then this thing i'd forgot all about this like i'd seen this months ago thinking oh my god caramel like when i was little i lived them caramel not caramel caramac chocolate bars loved them so when i seen this i knew i had to have it and i've honestly forgot all about it not even been looking for it and i'm like i'm looking for some milk chocolate and i like looked there and i'm like oh my god there's that caramel there's that caramel chocolate so it went straight in basket and i think that was a little bit on the price side so like 179 a bit on the price side for b&m but i couldn't not put that in my basket and i can't wait to inhale that when i say inhale it i mean it's gone in 0.52 seconds down my throat down the hatch gone next one you know i love a bloody minky christmas festive minky got reindeers on and it's grey and white it'll encourage me to bloody clean yes it will i think that was 249 then the other thing i thought i'd nearly finished my christmas shopping but turns out i haven't i forgot about the bloody dogs of the family how can i forget about my little snuggly buglies so i picked some up and then i thought oh, fuck i forgot about this dog so there is five bars there so it's scooby-doo chocolate got doggy chocolate they got it in white milk and three bars of peanut butter dog chocolate so i don't actually own a dog but everyone in my freaking family does so dog hot chocolate coming your way christmas day huns coming your way fluffy huns then last but not least i've been after some christmas bedding forever so Gemma Miles shared this lovely white faux fur bedding oh, and it looked dreams. It looked amazing. But I've looked in every single B&M I've been in and it turns out I think they only do it in double and king. They don't do it in single. Because um, I like to sleep in a single bed. <laughs> One of those things. I like to sleep in a single bed. But it turns out I don't think they do it. So I've been looking for some cosy fleece fur bedding for a single bed but it turns out I can only get it from kids range now the teddy bedding i can get that but i don't like feel of it it like feels weird you know like if you like chewed some wool with your teeth it feels like the feel of that so i didn't like it so i've seen this today and it's super soft and it's it's from the kids section so don't judge me but it's got like gingerbread houses and gingerbread men on and that was 12 pounds there was a lot of bedding like this for five pound we do some 15 to five but it didn't feel quite as soft as this one it wasn't pink and it didn't have gingerbread men on it was like red with stockings on and stuff i wanted the pink and gingerbread men i'd prefer it though if that gingerbread man had a bow on its head to make it a gingerbread woman but you know you can't have everything can't be greedy but yeah can't wait to get that on so that's my christmas bedding pop that on give it a spray of gingerbread oh jesus christ i'm gonna wake up starving fancy a gingerbread this morning because i've dreamt about gingerbread because i've got my gingerbread reed diffuser on all way gingerbread on my bed in oh, i'm gonna turn into a gingerbread woman physically am. good evening and welcome back to my vlogmas so today is like day two of december <laughs> day two of december second of december so today i've been to work so i've not been able to vlog anything today but just wanted to come on and say that I've been to Primark. 
Damn, I love a good Primark. <laughs> I've done a Primark. So, Primarks have been open for 24 hours from today. Some selected stores have. So, uh, I went after work to my local one and it was so bloody chilled. Like, there was not many people in there at all. It was so chilled and all the Christmas things were out, all the Christmas section and everything was replenished and refreshed and I had to do a big, big chop. Yeah? No? Do us a favour. I got interrupted there. But yes, a Primark haul will be coming. So it wasn't a too big Primark haul, but it's still a little bit substantial. Do you know what I mean? Like, they're all gifts for me, from me, to say happy going back to work day. <laughs> But I got everything that I wanted, picked up everything that I wanted to get. I seen like a two piece set like, you know, it was like a tweedy kind of jacket and shorts with pearl buttons. Um, looked really nice, but I wasn't sure. Like if it were like a cream or a lilac colour, then I would have gone for it, but it was black and I don't really wear a lot of black. So, Primark haul coming shortly. And yeah, back at work tomorrow. It's a long day tomorrow, so eight o'clock in the morning. Um, but yeah. Happy Vlogmas Day 2 and I just thought I'd come on and give you an update. So the Primark haul will be coming, guys. I'll speak to you soon. Hey everybody, welcome back to Vlogmas week one. I have been working all week this week, so currently, obviously in tier three, we could go back to work. So I've been back at work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, today. So four days I've done, I've done some mega long hours, like starting at eight o'clock in the morning finish at eight o'clock at night so you know you'll know that i did the primark shop so i thought i'd best pop on and show you exactly what i got before i start and use it all and wear it all so here's a big bag and a clever thing that i think they've done this year as you can see around there it says this bag makes great wrapping paper and then on the side it has templates for gift tags as well so that's a really good way to recycle a primark bag because you know i like to recycle and reuse things so, before I start getting into them things, I thought I would show you what I got. So, sorry that I haven't done myself up for this video, because, basically, I can't be asked because I've been working loads and I am knackered. So, I'll get straight into it with what So, I see Ellie Darby put a picture on, a festive picture for a new YouTube, for Vlogmas series. I wanted these. I thought it was a onesie, um... And I was looking for a onesie in store, but turns out it's the bottoms and tops. Um, so I was looking everywhere for it, and it was my sister that pointed it out and said, "They're the jammers. There, it's the folded jammers. It's not a onesie." I'm like, is it? Turns out it is. So I got the biggest size I do because I like jammers really oversized, but they're like a trousers and top, proper festive red. Um, they say friends and Central Park on. I've never actually seen an episode of Friends. Shoot me now. I've never watched Friends. <laughs> but I know it says Friends on these jammers, but I just love the pattern so much. And obviously if the Queen's got them, Ellie, I want them. But they was £12 and they was on the folded section of the pyjama section in Primark. And they're like a... I thought they'd be like a jersey material and they're not. They're like a really thin fleecy material and it's got a little bit of stretch in it. Um, but... I don't like proper thick fleecy pyjamas, so for it to be a thin version, they're perfect for me. So I'll be wearing them all December long, and I need to do a picture in them as well. So yeah, 12 quid. I got some poofs, <laughs> loofers, whatever you call them. Oh no, two poofs, two puffs. Two puffs, shower puffs, 150. And they've got a really handy little sucker on them. And the one I've got at the minute, I just hang it. I like that it's got a sucker on it, but yeah, two of them. I don't have to describe what you need to do with them, do I? The next thing I got, so I was so excited when I said these, I said to my sister, like, oh my god, can you remember that? Um, which was pineapple range that they've got in Primark. So I remember pi pineapple dance studios used to have a range in Debenhams and it was like hella expensive when I was younger. But this is like a long line hoodie, it's got pockets. It's grey, like a mild grey, and the pink is like a pink shimmer. And this is from the pyjama section, but I would wear that with leggings and my old boots in a day, and that was £12 too. 
so it must be a new range that they're doing so you know primark presents pineapple dance studios so i'm bringing that back my teenage years with that one but that's really thin super soft super cozy and it's pineapple it's pink and gray which are my favorite colors but yeah they did the trousers to go with that but i didn't want the trousers because i wanted to wear it as a hoodie daytime hoodie so yeah that was 12 pound and in that i got a size i got bigger size so i got a extra large that's like an 18 to 20 and then following on from the pineapple range i found a tracksuit in the pineapple range and this was the only one left on the shelf but i liked it because again it's gray and it's got like a embroidered pink shimmery pineapple dance studios now i want that to be really oversized so i got that in extra layer up <sighs> you can tell i'm tired of mints in my words i can't if i can't talk right it's because i'm tired but yeah i got an extra large in that and that was 12 pound too um extra large and it's like a cropped um hoodie i probably could have got away with that in a large but i wanted it to be really big and really flattering so yeah the top for that that's pineapple i hope they bring out like loads more because i, I love it and then i got the bottoms to match again it's got the lovely little pineapple embroidery there and then the inside of the waistband says pineapple too but that'd be really cool if it was on the outside as well but you could turn them when you wear them turn it down but then the pineapple would be upside down pineapple upside down cake <laughs> but they i got them in large because that's the only one that they left on the shelf uh, which the 14 16 they were 12 pound too i probably would have picked up an extra large if they had it but they do fit nice and there is plenty of room in them as well um so yeah and they feel really good quality they feel really nice and luxurious brilliant and they've got pockets as well and a proper real tie waist so they were 12 pound as well so 24 pound for a tracksuit set i don't think is bad at all what else what else what else i got this mini mouse luggage strap so i've seen this for months in there it come ripped because it was last one on the shelf but i've been toying with it for months i keep thinking should i pick it up or not but it was four pound in the last one so it made me buy it um but i meant to go on holiday in january so maybe i could use that maybe not if i don't go but yeah four quid for that and it's mini mouse strap and it's got a bow four quid the next thing i found was these like disney couples socks and these were three pound each and they're just really really cute i love a pair of bed socks so these are lilo and angel ones which are cute and round the top on that and it says angel that one it says stitch and they were three pounds so that's cute bed socks and the match so it's yeah it's like a couple goals socks so they were three pound and then the same but in mickey and minnie but i thought they would go with the festive theme as well because they're nice and red and gold so it's got mickey and minnie kissing and they're just like red with gold love arts and they were three pound too so they will go really nice with those red friends pajamas that i've got so yeah they were good too also i've seen these as well i think i've seen them on Gemma miles and i really wanted them because i'm really into reindeers and bears and that in a minute so found these rudolph slippers like soft slippers and these were three pound fifty they did have some like character themed ones licensed ones but they were like six pound um but i'm glad i found the reindeer ones so it's got reindeers with eyelashes on of course a rudolph's red nose and glittery antlers and the beige um and they there was loads of them they was with all the christmas socks as well so they were three pound fifty and they come in two different sizes so i got the size six to eight because i'm a big foot eight um and they're smaller size too but they're really nice for a christmas gift as well so yeah three pound fifty <laughs> to go with that as well like i said i'm obsessed with reindeers i found this and it was just on the shelf on its own so I just picked it up and it was two pound and it's a, it just says tis the season it's a rudolph mask um i'll be wearing that christmas eve <laughs> taking a good pick in that but they're good for like a little pamper set when you put together a hamper, hamper for people where you can put masks in nail varnishes all pampery things and of course a face mask and it's really nice and soft as well and for two quid it's a really nice stocking filler as well so if you can find them in your shops pick one up <laughs> what else I picked up a face mask and I picked up this Shrek one which says not my gun drop buttons for the gingerbread man they like the shiny too much but that was 
£1.50 and it's not a sheet mask, it's a blueberry cream mask, so it's one that you can apply yourself, so you probably get two applications out of that if you use it sparingly. But yeah, that's just a Shrek face mask. And then I seen this mug as well on social media and I really wanted it. They had it in a reindeer and this one and it is the Santa hot chocolate set. It says small there. So I'm not sure if they do like a large set of it as well. Uh, but I couldn't see any. But yeah, they had the reindeer one and this one. It's so cute. It comes with a chocolate mix. And also I like a tag because it's got a pom-pom on it. And it's got the to and from. So you won't even need to wrap that. You just need to put it in a gift bag. But this one's for me. <laughs> because I thought I'd like to now have a nice drink of chocolate out of that mug. With my friend's pyjamas on and my mini and Mickey red socks. But yeah, he's cute. I've been buying loads of Christmas mugs, but I just thought they won't clutter the cu cupboard up because when I've finished with them, I can pack them away the Christmas decorations. I've done that with the Halloween mugs as well. But yeah, he was £6, which I love. And that's everything. So that's everything that I got from Primark. So only a little haul. Um, so not lots of pieces of clothes because I don't really need any more clothes, but I just picked the pineapple ones up because... I was reliving my teenage years by seeing them. I loved them. I said, I can't believe I said to my sister Chloe, like, oh my God, like, you remember buying a ball? She was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But she didn't pick any up. So I picked it all up. I think I was more into pineapple than what she was. <laughs> she was the dancer and I liked the pineapple. Even though it says pineapple dance studios, you know, I liked it as well. So, yeah, just like I pop on and show the Primark haul. Um, so it's going to mix together in this vlogmas episode one so i think the next thing you're going to be see is me either doing some christmas baking or the make your own gingerbread house which will be fun because it's going to slide everywhere so yeah i'll see you in the next slide thanks for watching and that is going to go ahead and conclude week one of vlogmas so i've washed my hair been in the shower and i've got my new christmas pjs on so i hope you love this video um don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you'd like to see the rest of vlogmas other than that i'm gonna love you and leave you have a cozy chilled night and i'll see you in week two of vlogmas